Hello, welcome to Prime Sports with me, Rezak Musbao. Now, now let's get you to the University of Ghana Stadium, where Ghana's deal of Benjamin Azamati and Barnabas Age uh, through, made it through to the final of the men's 100-meter events at the ongoing African Games. Now, the two sprinters were part of three members of Ghana's team to have made the semi-final after cruising past their respective heats. Now, the other being Safwan Sanao, I get cruised into the final after coming second in semi-final heat uh, with a time of 10.46 seconds, while Ansa, who was in the same race, finished fifth. Now, Zamati also claimed a spot in the final after finishing second in the semi-final heat in 10.41 seconds. Cameroon's uh, Emmanuel Esseme won the race in 10.23 seconds. This is how the action unfolded at the University of Ghana Stadium. Now, in the women's event, Mary Boache uh, will be hoping to end a podium finish after being the only Guinean to make it to the final. And uh, she managed to come second in her semi-final contest. And this is how she also secured that final spot. To get ready to go, she's in lane four. Alexander is Mary Boache. So off they go, running well. Gina Vaz, look at her, she's grounded, very focused, but in lane two is Claudine, but Gina Vaz is not breaking a sweat, she takes it easily. Mary Boachie uh, coming third in her semi-final contest and uh, well they will all be in action in the finals that's expected to take place tomorrow at the same venue the University of Ghana Stadium let's get to boxing now because Ghana is uh, you know guaranteed at least 
four bronze medals after four boxers reached the semis of the boxing competition in the games. Now, there will also be quarterfinal contest for some of the boxers, including Samuel Techi, who knocked his opponent out in under 45 seconds. Well, the head trainer of the side, Mr. Ofori Asari, has been speaking to Joy Sports and he says he's expecting even more medals from the boxing team. I think uh, they are doing marvelously well. All the training that we've gone through. And I'm seeing something like that. And I hope we'll go further to be able to do more. We have a female and male team. We know very well that our female team is not fine. If not, we we'll encourage them for another. But for men, there is no way we are going to do better. More. More medals. For how many? More, more. Let's talk about the individuals. We saw Henry Mom yesterday. There were some complaints about his defense and how he didn't seem to have the momentum. What's the issue with it? Is it the green grass? No, Henry, Henry Mom went to professional and has been in professional for some time. Now he has to adjust to the amateur. The speed in the amateur is different from the professional. So it's just a matter of time. It's good that he wins. And if you continue winning and continue training, I think the speed will come and everything will be okay. Yeah, so that's uh, Ghana's uh, the trainer of the Ghana boxing team. They're expecting more medals. But in hockey, there's been some uh, real controversy there because South Africa, uh, they've withdrawn uh, both uh, the men's and women's hockey teams from the uh, games uh, currently underway. Uh, of course, now, uh, according to them, it's based on recommendations and guidelines are set down by the International Hockey Federation. Now, the decision was taken as a result of the uh, Theodosia Oko hockey pitch not being sufficiently prepared to stage the competition. Now, the local organizing committee and the African Hockey Federation have been informed of the decision taken by Team South Africa. Now, according to South Africa's Olympic governing body, uh, they make the statement uh, where, they, where they indicate that the state of the hockey pitch is not in the best of shape to be able to uh, host their team and they are fearing that their team might pick up injury and be unable to compete in Paris Olympic Games, which they've already qualified for. So that's the statement uh, from the uh, hockey, the, the leader of the South African team in Ghana, where she stated that over and above making this decision, our South Africa Hockey Federation consulted with Sports Flooring Warehouse, South African Bay Specialist in Carpet Lane, and an FIH recognized service provider. They have also advised us, having analyzed the images we shared with them, that the field is not satisfactory and may cause harm to the athletes. And they are referring to the state of the hockey pitch that is hosting the hockey tournament in the African Games. Now, the statement continues that. The rescheduling of the hockey competition on three numerous occasions has, in addition, caused an inconvenience to us logistically as a team where we had to arrange for both the teams to fly to Ghana in time for the commencement of the competition. So South Africa is saying that the state of the pitch is unsafe for the athletes and for that reason they were drawing all of the athletes participating in the hockey competition. They are men and women's athletes they were drawing them because they do not think that Teodius Oko pitch is safe and friendly for them to compete uh, in the games. Now, the Ministry of Youth and Sport have been responding to these claims by the uh, South African team. And this is a statement, a rejoinder issued by the executive uh, assistant to the Minister for Youth and Sports, Jamal, Jamal Ludin. And uh, he says, I bring you an excerpt of that statement by the Ministry of Youth and Sports, where they say that, at the Teodosia Oko Hockey Stadium in Accra. Hockey is currently underway amidst the excitement of the African Games. The stadium's pitch adheres to all international and Olympic standards, ensuring a top-tier competition environment. Disregard any misinformation attempting to discredit the pitch quality. That's a statement from the Ministry of Youth and Sport 
uh, reaction to South Africa's statement. He continues by saying the African Games have a stringent requirement for every event overseen by dedicated officers and officials. Before any competition begins, these individuals meticulously verify that all prerequisites are met. Additionally, representatives from each discipline's continental executives thoroughly inspect the facilities, granting approval for the Games to proceed. Still responding, South Africa claims about the substandard nature of the hockey pitch and concludes by saying the delay in the commencement of the hockey competition was actually a result of ensuring the pitch met the needed requirement and approval. If you care to know a new carpet that meets international hockey game standards was installed. That's a statement from the Ministry of Youth and Sports uh, directly reacting to the statement from the South African team who have withdrawn their men and women's hockey team from participating in the African Games. We're going to keep tabs on this and wait to see whether South Africa will respond to the statement by the Ministry of Youth and Sports. But it's on that note that we draw uh, curtains on tonight's edition of Prime Sports. We're going to be back here same time tomorrow, 8.30. But we've got more stories for you, more update from the African Games on myjoyonline.com. My name is Zach Musbao. Thank you for being part of it.